Hello everybody. Um, this video is uh, intended to help you to be able to turn off the uh, chat function in the Teams program that you probably have noticed is opening up on your computer on startup as well as your students computers in class. So uh, in order to do this uh, you're going to need to have Teams open. So you can open Teams in two different ways. There's an icon down here on the bottom right side of your corner. It's purple and has a little T in it. If you click on that, if you've minimized it, it will bring it up and this is probably the easiest way. You can also, um, you can also access Teams through your Office 365 online, um, but this way is probably the easiest way to, to access your Teams interface. So um, over here, just for a quick review of Teams, over here on the left side of your Teams screen, you will see activity, chat, Teams, meetings, files, and assignments. Students have been using this chat function to interact with one another during class or uh, just generally talk when they maybe should be doing something a little bit more productive. So we have uh, talked to division office and they have disabled this function um, for students generally. So what this means is that students can't just go into Teams now and hold a chat. If by some chance you see that happening, please let the office know uh, right away. I've checked with uh, quite a few kids and had them log in at different grade levels uh, and classes and they all seem to be disabled. So as of right now, this function should be disabled, period. So that's the general chat. Um, over here uh, in this second column, you'll see that there is a bunch of classes. These are the classes that you teach um, in your first semester and second semester. You might also have a whole bunch of classes that you taught last year down in here, and they will just need to be archived. But for now, we're just gonna focus on the classes that are current to your teaching load. So it's pretty simple to turn the chat off. All you need to do is select your class. So I'll go into History 30 here. You're gonna click on these three dots to the right of your class name and you're going to go down to manage team. Once you select manage team you're going to see members and this is all of the students that are in your class. Pending requests which we won't worry about right now. Channels which we also won't worry about right now. What we want to focus on is this one right here. Settings. Select settings and then we're going to go down to member permissions. Right to the left of member permissions, there's a little arrow. If you click on that little arrow, it will give you all of the um, permissions that students currently have or people who are in this team. So this is my History 30 team, all the permissions that they have. So you will probably, when you open yours up, you will see this. You'll see these bottom three will be checked in purple and it will say anyone can post messages. So what this means uh, is that anyone in this team can post a message inside of this class. These three checked mean that owners can delete all messages, so that's just you. Uh, this is give members the option to delete their messages. Members are students. And then give members the option to edit their messages. We are gonna deselect this one and this one. Um, you can probably leave this up because you are the owner. As the teacher, you're the owner of the team. And this will allow you to delete anything that maybe has already been been put there so that you can uh, get rid of it. And, and if you choose to use it in the future, you can use it and then erase whatever you've used it for. Down here in the general channel, we want to say that only owners can post messages. So if we leave these two settings here. What that means is that in History 30, when students open History 30, they will be unable to post messages in the chat. So it will shut down the chat uh, in the classrooms. What the division has done is closed chat in between the classrooms. So general chat. 
chat is still active in all of your classes, whether they are currently active or not. And you will need to go in and manually shut those down um, each for each class. If you are having trouble shutting them down or you're not sure about something that was uh, in this video, please feel free to come down and I can do this for you in about 30 seconds and uh, make sure that you've got everything where you want it to be. Key things to remember, I guess, are in a team, you are an owner and students are members and you can go into all of these different settings and play around with them if you like. Uh, however, uh, it is important that you go into the member permissions for your classes and shut down the chat in there just so that uh, nothing is happening without you being aware of it. Okay, thanks. Uh, I hope this is easy enough for you to manage. And again, if you have any questions or you need any help, please let me know uh, as, as soon as possible. Thanks.